as important are relaxation protocols as well. Relaxation protocols or relaxation setups like I'm doing here. Um, so here we have, uh, this is a multi-dog home. Um, I, these are adolescents and there is one adult. Um, we worked on shaping go to place uh, individually and now um, they're all together in the same space enjoying a little um, high value food toy and settling um, really important so those operational skills are really important to help um, get our dogs to think um, and if our dogs are emotional through adolescence they're going to be emotional they're going to have growth spurts they're going to be hormonal they're growing and changing life is weird for them um, and uh, their sensory perceptions are very different than ours we want to maintain remember that um, but if we can use those words and be consistent about marking and rewarding they'll be more reliable and you'll also be help helping them to um, you're, you're short-circuiting their emotional state by um, asking them to do something. Um, uh, so you can't really think and problem solve while you're being emotional. It's, it's you're using different parts of your brain. It's operationally uh, impossible. Um, there, there are different cognitive processes. Um, so. Um, help your dog think. Uh, it not, will not only tire them out, but you can use those um, as a tool to, uh, to manage them and help shape their behavior so that they can become um, well-adjusted adults.